RD-180 engine roars to life. And liftoff of the maiden flight of the Atlas V rocket with a Hot Bird 6 spacecraft on board. As the inaugural flight of the Atlas V lifted off on August 21, 2002, it carried with it the dreams and aspirations of thousands of rocket pioneers who had laid the foundation that made it possible. Atlas V continues the Atlas legacy of innovation and accomplishment that has been vital to our nation for more than half a century. Named after the mighty giant of Greek mythology who carried the world on his shoulders, Atlas was conceived as a weapon and a deterrent, but evolved into a system that pushed the envelope with trailblazing innovation and steadfast reliability. At the request of the Air Force, Charlie Bossert and his San Diego-based engineering team began work on a demanding set of requirements to design an intercontinental ballistic missile capable of delivering a 1,500-pound warhead to a target 5,500 miles away. Their answer, which became known as Atlas, was the top national priority in 1955 as the race with the Soviets engulfed the country. On June 11, 1957, the first Atlas flight lifted off from Space Launch Complex 14 in Cape Canaveral, Florida. The flight ended 38 seconds later, but Bossert's team had taken the first step and proven the structural integrity of their innovative pressure-stabilized steel tank. Complete success for the Air Force and Bossert's team would come just five months later, on December 17, 1957. Go, honey, keep going, baby. Though the Soviets had beaten the U.S. to space with the launch of Sputnik in October 1957, President Eisenhower would counter a year later when Atlas 10B delivered his holiday message of peace from orbit 180 miles above Earth. Known as Project SCORE, the orbiting Atlas booster became the world's first communication satellite. This is the President of the United States speaking. Through the marvels of scientific advance, my voice is coming to you from a satellite circling in outer space. Attention all personnel, report to the block house immediately. Countdown will begin. On September 9, 1959, Atlas 12D became America's first operational ICBM following launch from California's Vandenberg Air Force Base. In all, 350 Atlas ICBMs were built and stood on operational alert through 1965. The surplus boosters were refurbished and used by the Air Force, the Army, the Navy, and NASA. The last refurbished booster was launched in 1995. By the early 1960s, the Atlas booster had made the transition from missile to space launch vehicle. 1962 proved to be a pivotal year. Riding atop an Atlas booster in Project Mercury's Friendship 7 capsule, John Glenn became the first American to orbit the Earth on February 20th, 1962. Three additional Mercury flights carrying astronauts Scott Carpenter, Wally Schirra, and Gordon Cooper set the stage for the Gemini flights and the Apollo missions to the moon. Later that year, Atlas scored another first when Atlas 179D, equipped with an Agena upper stage, lifted off from Space Launch Complex 12 at Cape Canaveral. Its payload, NASA's Mariner 2, became the first successful interplanetary spacecraft. 1962 also marked the debut of the Centaur upper stage the first to harness the power of liquid hydrogen. The Centaur upper stage to this day remains a hallmark of the Atlas system. Together with its Agena and Centaur upper stages, the Atlas booster went on to play a significant role in America's exploration of the solar system, launching virtually every exploration mission in the 1960s and 1970s. It was the first spacecraft that was launched from Earth that had enough energy to escape the entire solar system. During the late 1970s and 1980s, Atlas continued to play important roles in the development of our nation's space program. In addition to building our national security presence in space, converted Atlas boosters also launched the Air Force's Navstar demonstration satellites, leading to the navigation system known today as GPS. In the late 1980s, 
General Dynamics saw an opportunity to bring commercial payloads back to expendable launch vehicles. And on July 25, 1990, AC-69, the first Atlas I, ushered in a new commercial era for Atlas. The commercial era brought eight new Atlas configurations over a 14-year span, each carrying an operational payload. The commercial program has enabled breakthroughs in communications, meteorology, broadcast technology, navigation, and national security. In 1995, development of the Atlas III vehicle began. In a bold move, the Atlas booster engine system was replaced with the powerful RD-180, which generates 860,000 pounds of thrust and has throttle capability resulting in a smoother and more efficient ride. Making its debut from Space Launch Complex 36 on May 24, 2000, the Atlas III provided a substantial performance improvement over the Atlas IIAS. Reliability was increased by reducing the number of engines from eight to two and the elimination of five staging events, as well as more than 10,000 parts. This is Atlas Mission Control on t In 1998, the Atlas team embarked on a development project for the United States Air Force that would forever change the Atlas vehicle. And the RD-180 engine roars to life and lift off with a maiden flight of the Lockheed Martin Atlas V rocket with a Hot Bird 6 spacecraft on board for Eutelsat in Paris, France. For more than 40 years, Atlas vehicles had relied on the pressure-stabilized steel tank developed by Charlie Bossert and his team. In a departure from conventional thinking, the Atlas V development replaced the tank with a structurally stable common core booster. In addition to vehicle modifications, the team took a new approach to processing and launch. Atlas V processing is done vertically, and the mobile service tower has been replaced by a mobile launch platform, which carries the entire assembled vehicle to the launch pad, ready to fuel and launch. The Atlas V has expanded to multiple payload variants solid rocket booster configurations, as well as re-establishing a launch capability from the West Coast at Vandenberg Air Force Base. The Atlas vehicle has a long legacy of accomplishment. This record of success, which is nearly unparalleled in the launch industry, is built on the lessons handed down for more than 60 years of Atlas experience. It is also a credit to the dedication and persistence of the Atlas team and their passion for mission success, one launch at a time.